The graduation ceremony will commence in five minutes. Success is when somebody survives. I can feel that, that's tangible. There's absolutely no mileage at all in getting up in the morning to be average. The graduation ceremony will commence in three minutes. The graduation ceremony will commence in two minutes. The graduation ceremony will commence in one minute.
Hello and welcome to this special event honouring the graduating class of 2021. My name is Kumi Taguchi, a proud UOW alumna from the class of 1996. I was away from my graduation and I've always wished I had marked the end of my time at UOW. And whilst your graduation will be different to the norm like so much of these past 18 months, I'm so glad you can be here and we can be together for this very special evening as we come to you live from the famous UOW Hall. Before we go any further, let us pay our respects to our First Nations people. We acknowledge that country for Aboriginal peoples is an interconnected set of ancient and sophisticated relationships. The University of Wollongong spreads across many interrelated Aboriginal countries that are bound by this sacred landscape, an intimate relationship with that landscape since creation. From Sydney to the Southern Highlands to the South Coast, from fresh water to bitter water to salt, from city to urban, to rural. The University of Wollongong acknowledges the custodianship of the Aboriginal peoples of this place and space that has kept alive the relationships between all living things. The University acknowledges the devastating impact of colonisation on our campus's footprint and commit ourselves to truth-telling, healing and education. We are moments away from opening the doors for the official commencement of tonight's ceremony with the Chancellor and Faculty Executive assembling after the traditional procession across the campus. I have many rich memories of my life on this campus. I studied creative arts on a music scholarship and went on to a career in TV and journalism where I'm currently the host of SBS's Insight program. My time here physically was only three years, but my relationship with UOW and my fellow alumna has not only remained, but grown since I graduated. The community you have been part of and will be part of for years to come is wonderfully unique, global, and truly authentic. It is such an honor to be here with you tonight. The stage and hall are set as they would be for all graduation ceremonies and we respect the time-honoured traditions that are part of the rich tapestry of universities across the world. But as a marker of this time, we have a group of graduates joining us remotely, representing all of you. Welcome. As such, we begin by opening the doors and welcoming the academic procession into the hall. Leading the procession are the executive deans representing the four faculties here tonight. Professor Sue Bennett. Senior Professor Grossel Avicii. Professor Eileen A. McLaughlin. <laughs> Professor Colin Picker. Entering next is Senior Deputy Vice Chancellor Joe Chicharo, OM. Vice-Chancellor, Professor Patricia Davidson.
And we welcome Ms Christine McLaughlin AM, who is the Chancellor, the University's highest official and Chair of the University Council. And coming to the stage now is the mace bearer, Eleni Petru. She's carrying the university mace. This is a truly ancient symbol of authority and ceremony. And the mace you see her carrying there has been part of UOW since the beginning and is kept in a special office locked up until it's brought out for these ceremonies. We will stay standing and ask you to do the same as UOW performance and theatre student Jennifer Gray leads us in the national anthem. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Please take your seats. Tonight, you are one of close to 1,000 students joining this graduation broadcast from across Australia and the globe, representing a diverse cohort of which we can all be so proud. Graduates celebrate from their homes in Bangladesh, Canada, China, India, Japan, Malaysia, New Zealand, Nigeria, Norway, Pakistan, Papua New Guinea, Singapore, Spain, and Thailand. We also welcome many proud families marking this life achievement with you and for you in their own unique way. Let me quickly just share how this evening will go for you. Shortly, the Chancellor will officially welcome you all before you then split out into your faculties for the first part of our awards presentations. We will then come back together for our incredible guest speaker, who's the inspirational plastic surgeon, Burns expert and Australian of the Year, Professor Fiona Wood AM. Following that, we head over into the iconic uni bar as local legends hockey dad take the stage, reigniting a lot of memories of time spent 
studying, then you will go back into your faculty groups for the remaining presentations and the vote of thanks by your faculty graduate speaker. We invite you to share any celebrations and congratulations that you have on social channels by tagging UOWGrad2021. We'd love to be able to share them on this broadcast. And now, graduates, family and friends, it is my pleasure to introduce the Chancellor of the University, Ms Christine McLaughlin, AM. Graduates, family and friends, welcome to this graduation ceremony. Today is a special occasion for all of us, but especially for you, our graduates. I feel privileged to be sharing this milestone with you, every single one of you. This achievement is yours to celebrate and now build from. What also makes you unique is that your graduation milestone is occurring at a point in history which is extremely challenging. The global pandemic we are living through has disrupted our world. The health crisis, but also the ease of crossing domestic and international borders, supply chains for critical products and services disrupted, coupled with the exponential pace of technology enablement, and generally a change in the way we do things, including simple things such as seeing family and friends and different ways of learning. As I stand here, and reflect upon this being the first time I have been back on campus since June due to the extended lockdowns in New South Wales experienced by us all, I cannot help but share in thoughts and feelings on how much we all look forward to the campus thriving again with activity once the final easing of restrictions allows us to be together and share in events such as this. The health, mobility and economic implications of the pandemic have been unprecedented, impacting each of you in different ways. Through it all, you have shown resilience, strength and determination, which has helped you overcome your challenges. Today's events are the culmination of years of hard work, personal sacrifice and commitment. I hope you feel a deep sense of achievement and pride. You did it. This ceremony is public recognition of both your commitment and achievement. It has been a privilege to be a part of your journey so far, and we look forward to witnessing the incredible work you do from here. I offer my own congratulations and those of the University Council. Graduation is also an opportunity to thank all of those who made your achievements possible, your family, your friends, and your teachers. This is a special moment for them too, and I'm sure they're extremely proud of how far you have come. Today, we acknowledge the important role they played and invite them to share in your success. I was the first member of my own family to receive a university degree, and the pride and joy that gave my family and dear friends is a memory I have kept with me. So treasure today. Today marks the beginning of your next chapter. I hope that your experience at UOW has shaped not only the, the person you are today and the career you're about to embark upon, but also the curiosity, empathy and compassion that you will take with you. The world is changing so quickly and as we face complex social, environmental and economic challenges, I'm confident that as graduates of the University of Wollongong, you are well placed to lead the way forward. In today's world, change is the only constant and the rate of change is itself increasing. A risk accepting mentality is key to rapid iteration and to use a well-known phrase, falling forward. As Kumi mentioned, as a graduate of the UOW, you are now part of a truly global university. We deliver programs at campuses in Dubai, Hong Kong and Malaysia and have partner institutions in China and Singapore. You can feel proud to be part of a university with an outstanding reputation that spans the globe. The completion of your studies at UOW places you among the most employable graduates in the world. We are among the top 200 universities globally for the quality of our graduates and 62nd in the world for graduate employability. This reflects both the achievements of our alumni and our ability to equip you with skills 
that make you job ready. The success of our graduates is the basis for the university's strong reputation in Australia and around the world. UOW ranks among the top 1% of universities globally and we are aiming higher every day. Graduates, you are our greatest achievement. And along with our researchers and partners, you're at the heart of UOW's mission to create a lasting, positive impact. It's this community of like-minded people that has shaped our university to become a world leader for social and economic impact, ranking sixth in the world in the 2021 Times Higher Education University Impact Ratings. Together with our partners, we're working to solve the biggest questions facing society and striving towards a better quality of life for future generations as we address structural change at pace. Through this work, we have partnered with the World Health Organization to develop exercise, sleep and screen time guidelines for children worldwide and invested in world leading microscopes that visualise life at the molecular level and create new ways to fight disease. We are on the front line in the fight against climate change with our Eureka Prize winning research into the capacity of coastal wetlands to mitigate sea level rises. We've united research teams with expertise in disaster response to help communities in crisis, and we're focusing on research projects aimed at enhancing community resilience in an era, era of growing uncertainty. Graduation sparks a new connection with this university, one I hope will be a lifelong relationship with us, through further study or as a proud ambassador. You are now part of a vibrant global community of more than 163,000 alumni from 179 countries, each with the shared experience of studying at the University of Wollongong. I encourage you to stay connected with the university and your fellow graduates. The relationships you have formed during your time here will be invaluable for years to come, providing a strong support network regardless of where your career takes you or where you find yourself in the world. As you join us here today, and if you plan to celebrate following the ceremony, take a moment to reflect on your time here, what you have achieved, and importantly, what the future could hold for you. I encourage you to set your sights high and work towards something you believe in, because when you find your purpose, you will find your place. Dreams without goals are just dreams, so harness your passion and commit to your next chapter. I would particularly like to welcome our special guest speaker, Professor Fiona Wood AM, and thank Fiona for joining us today. Fiona has spent her life pursuing moonshot goals which have made the world a better place. Fiona is a trailblazer and has harnessed her passion and committed to her cause. She has changed the world. May I again welcome you all and extend our best wishes to all of the graduates for a happy and memorable graduation day. Thank you so much, Chancellor. Chancellor, I present to you the graduates to receive awards from Faculty of Science, Medicine and Health, Faculty of Business and Law, <coughs> Faculty of the Arts, Humanities and Social Sciences, Faculty of Engineering and Information Sciences. In the name of the Council and by my authority as Chancellor, I confirm your admission to the awards of which you have qualified. Thank you, Chancellor. In each of the four faculties, we now ask the executive deans to please stand and commence your official award presentations. I present to you from the Faculty of Science, Medicine and Health for their bachelor degrees. Trent Peoples. Cameron Musgrove.
Arij El Faturi. Orly Kelly. Sophie Merrifull. Isabel Louise Napper. Kia Ray Goodbeer. Claire Hallam. Bilal Safar Khan. Narayan Kanal. Alicia Emma Van Gastel. Molly Elizabeth Eden Clark. Michelle Kershaw. Abigail Page Letlow. G E W Mujansaji. Danchushi Sanjijwani Ekanaye Suellen Jane Knight Lara Massey Sarah Jane Schofield Nicole White Genevieve Page Menyon Ku Talia Liat Miller Sarah Ann Purdy Emily Valerie Curtin ZQ Sun Samuel Peter Jennings Jaden Chance McKinnon Rula Hamid Abbas Shakri Chi Elizabeth Alborja Michael John Bennett Robert Charles Bruckner John Francis Canero Ashley Franks Ahmed Mohammed Mahmoud Abdel Karim Mohammed Olivia Gobran Natasha Miller Jing Hun Shui Finn Woolley Daniel Jacob Ritchie Claire Dorothy Blaney Asmahan Abdul Salam El Jelly Callum O'Flaherty Kiri Priscilla Rogers Emily Lynette Monroe Ivy Moore Travis Adam Anderson Sarah Eve 
Carol. Muhammad Hamad. Maurice Van Der Merwe. Brooke Morgan Conroy. Bradley Holland. Alana McPherson. Wade Wallace. I now present to you from the Faculty of Science, Medicine and Health for their graduate certificates. Carlina Mara Black. Noni Greenwood. Marcus Alexander Williams. Melissa Jane Marilyn Kadzow. Lisa Nolan. Yu Shijiao Zhang. I present to you from the Faculty of Science, Medicine and Health for their master's degrees. Antoinette Valentina Tipple. Jessica Lauren Holt. Daniel Jake Leahy. Blake McIntyre. Artie. Rebecca Ann Jennings Smith. Natalie Jessica Walelska. Benjamin Jedenger. Sharla Anthony. Sujita Bundari. Diksha Bata. Diksha Butahari. Musami Chitrakar. Suvechta Dahal. Gurpreet Kaur. Jusmi Gurung. Shika Gurung. Harman Deep Kaur. Basha Casey. Ayusha Kadha Gina Kadka Sibita Koirala Upreti Usha Paul Prasana Pudel Kadka Bindu Rana Samita Rana Rina Rafael Kusum Rijal Punja Sa Basha Sapkota Arayal 
Shova Shah. Luna Shrestra. Pusa Shrestra. Prashama Timna Shrestra. Rajani Shrestra. Manuka Silwal. Sonia Devi. Sita Shriva Stava. Monica Thapa. Sajita Thapa Shretri. Sabina Thapa Magar. Prasuma Tripati. Miyu Ito. Susanna Solkova. Cheeky Rachel Wong. Tracy Doran Robertson. And that concludes the first part of our awards presentation. We will continue shortly with the doctoral awards from all of our faculties, presented by the Deputy Vice-Chancellor, Professor Jennifer L. Martin AC. This will be followed by this year's vote of thanks, but I will now hand you back to Kumi. Welcome back and to all of those uh, students who have already been acknowledged as graduates for 2021, a huge congratulations. We move now to a very special part of the evening, the traditional conferral of a University of Wollongong honorary doctorate. This year, it's Professor Fiona Wood, acclaimed Burns expert and plastic surgeon. Professor Wood joins us from her hometown, Perth, Australia, where she'll deliver her occasional address. But first, I would like to welcome Professor Jennifer Martin AC, who will present Professor Fiona Wood AM for the degree of Doctor of Science Honoris Causa. Chancellor, it gives me great pleasure to present Professor Fiona Wood for admission to the degree of Doctor of Science Honoris Causa. Resilient, committed and focused on driving forward the boundaries of knowledge, Professor Fiona Wood AM has forged an exceptional career as a world leading burn specialist and researcher. She is one of Australia's most innovative and well respected plastic and reconstructive surgeons and an inspirational role model and advocate for women in leadership. Born in Yorkshire, Fiona began her medical career at St Thomas's Hospital London in 1981, where she trained under the distinguished plastic surgeon, Mr Brian Mayhew. Her experiences while working at London's Great Ormond Street Hospital fostered a curiosity in the many forms of scarring leading her to move on to the Queen Victoria Hospital, which had a burns unit. And so began Fiona's lifelong dedication to burns medicine. In 1987, she immigrated to Perth with her husband, Tony, to complete her general surgeon training. Here, under the mentorship of another great surgeon and inspiration in her life, Dr. Harold McComb, Fiona expanded her knowledge and experience in burns patients and wound healing. In 1991, in an historically male-dominated field, Fiona became Western Australia's first female plastic surgeon. 
That same year, her ability to lead a team and direct innovation for future clinical care was swiftly recognised and she was appointed director of the Burns Service of Western Australia. In this role, Fiona led the Burns Service of Western Australia to international recognition as a leader in Burns care, simultaneously becoming an advocate for women in leadership. As a surgeon at Fiona Stanley Hospital, Hollywood Private Hospital and Perth Children's Hospital, Director of the Burns Service of Western Australia, co-founder of the Fiona Wood Foundation, co-founder of the first skin cell laboratory in Western Australia and Winthrop and clinical professor at the universities of Western Australia and Notre Dame. The breadth of her commitment to the field of Burns medicine is astounding. As chairperson of the Burn Injury Research Unit, Fiona is championing innovative research, pioneering new treatments for healing burns and minimizing scarring with the overall aim of achieving totally scarless healing. Her enduring legacy and greatest contribution to date is the innovative spray-on skin technique, a world first technology which has been used on thousands of patients around the world, greatly reducing permanent scarring in burns injuries. Fiona has been at the frontier of traumatic global events, harnessing her resilience, commitment, altruism and courage to save the lives of Burns victims around the world. In October 2002, in response to the devastation caused by the Bali bombings, Fiona led a team of 19 surgeons, 130 medical staff and four operating theatres to save patients suffering body burns, deadly infections and delayed shock. In 2007, Fiona also travelled to Indonesia to help with emergency burns treatment of survivors of another international tragedy, the Garuda Indonesia Flight 200 crash landing. Fiona's extensive research has been published internationally in highly ranked peer-reviewed journals and covers a variety of topics including burns management, pharmacology, molecular biology and genetics. She has been involved in a number of education programs and disaster response initiatives and is a fellow of the Royal College of Surgeons, London and Edinburgh, and a fellow of the Royal Australasian College of Surgeons in Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery. In recognition of her impressive career, Fiona has received many of Australia's highest accolades. She is a member of the Order of Australia, recipient of the Australian Medical Association's Contribution to Medicine Award, co-recipient of the Clooney's Ross Award, and recipient of the Advance Global Impact Award. In 2003 and 2004, Fiona was named West Australian of the Year, and in 2005, Australian of the Year. Moreover, she was voted Australia's most trusted person for six successive years from 2005 to 2010, and she has been immortalised as an Australian living treasure. A truly remarkable humanitarian, driven by a determination to reduce the devastation caused by the physical, psychological and social impacts of burns injuries, Fiona has carved out an inspiring path as a medical professional and a woman in science. Chancellor, today we honour Professor Fiona Wood in recognition of her outstanding contributions and service to medicine and medical research, particularly in the specialty of Burns Medicine and for her global humanitarian activities and demonstrated leadership. It is a privilege and a pleasure to present Professor Fiona Wood for a Doctor of Science Honoris Causa. In the name of the Council and by my authority as Chancellor, I admit you to the degree of Doctor of Science 
Honoris Causa of the University of Wollongong. Graduates, family and friends, Professor Fiona Wood, who was just admitted as an honorary doctorate, is our guest speaker this evening. Please join me in welcoming her. Thank you, Chancellor, University of Wollongong staff, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is my absolute honour to accept this honour and I'm humbled by such a beautiful introduction and it uh, really takes me back down the tunnel of time to where my career started and as I think Goodness me, we're in strange times indeed, where I'm standing here in Perth, looking at you all, oh, so I wish I could in the same room, but looking at you all across this vast country with the use of technology to say congratulations. To, to really share your joy today with you. As I say, looking down the, my tunnel of time, it takes me right back to when I was at graduation ceremonies for myself. It takes me back further than that, to the people who inspired me, the people who looked after me, cared for me, and made sure that I had the opportunity to reach my potential. So I urge you, while you all tonight celebrate your success, don't forget those around you that have taken the journey with you. My father left school at 14, as did my mother. Going down the coal mine, at that age is just extraordinary and I still can't kind of wrap my head around that. But he was absolutely focused, as was my mother, on, dem on giving us, my brothers and sister, an education. Because education gives you choice. And he used to say, education will give you the choice to get up in the morning and enjoy what you do. Don't waste it. So I see I can feel the joy from Wollongong and I know you've all had a, the privilege of an extraordinary education to this point. But this is just the beginning. This ec education is special. It is an extraordinary privilege. What you do with it from now, that's the measure of the individual. We live in this technology, in these strained times, we live at the, with it in a capacity where you can make a difference to the world in a way that is unprecedented. You can use your education for good. It's all about the choices you make. And as we stand collectively on the sort of brink of this, the, the sort of the tomorrow that you face, it's exciting, it's daunting, it can be overwhelming at times. And again, don't forget those around you that have helped you on the journey to date. Some will stay with you, some will move on their own trajectories. You'll gain more connectivity as you go forward in your life, as we build your networks to realise your potential. That potential that is based on such a solid educational framework. I remember going to medical school it was 1975. Feels like a very long time ago because it was a very long time ago. I arrived and we were looking at the anatomy, the anatomy of the forearm, and I thought, whoa, if this is what surgeons put together, I will be a surgeon. If I had a dollar for everybody who told me that that wasn't possible as a, being a girl, we would have a lot of funding for our research. But you know, I learned really early Negative, negative energy without engagement is just a black hole. Walk on by. Go and find those who will help you realize your potential. Share the positive energy, the criticism with engagement in how to make sure that we learn from today to make tomorrow better. 
I see suffering on a daily basis. I carry with me that suffering. And the way I have built my resilience and my coping strategy is to absolutely aggressively engage in research so that I will learn something every day to make the suffering of tomorrow less, to change the scarring inside and out of people who are unfortunate enough to suffer burn injury. I would say if you're meeting me professionally, you're certainly not having a good day. But as we drive forwards, pushing back the barriers of knowledge, connecting with people, collaborating with your teams in Wollongong and across the world, we can make a difference. I have lived it. I know it to be true. And so as I sit and sort of rejoice with you, because we've got this youthful energy, this passion, this exuberance, don't let that ever fade. Gather your resources, gather your resilience, gather your networks around you and strive to go forward. I believe absolutely fundamentally that this education is a privilege and it is our duty to give back and push back the boundaries of the world's knowledge in small ways and in big ways, if we're lucky. But to always keep that focus on understanding how our education gives us the opportunity to get up in the morning and enjoy what we do. And in that journey that is so exciting, because you've got, we're told you guys will have jobs that we've not even invented yet. Well, go out and invent them. My mother told me when I was 13 and I got a, a place at a school which changed my life, at a Quaker school. Grasp the nettle with both hands and never let it go. And I urge you, grasp the nettle and don't let it go. And while you're chasing your dreams on this extraordinarily lumpy road called life, don't forget, keep something of the best of you for those who care most for you. Because in doing so, you will have the care and the resilience to keep going. And don't forget, you can never overrate kindness. So go out, celebrate, celebrate life, celebrate your success so far. But I urge you to understand this is just the platform for tomorrow. This is just the new beginning. Enjoy and engage. And don't let anyone come in the way of your passion and your energy as you realize your potential based on this solid education that you've got so far. And thank you so much for inviting me to be part of your celebrations today. Thank you. It's very great. Thank you so much, Professor Fiona Wood. What an extraordinary privilege to hear those words. I hope you feel so inspired. I could listen to her all night, but we are going to change the pace a little bit. We're going to head to the iconic uni bar. I don't know if you've been there before, where Wollongong's favourite hockey dad is performing their much loved song, Good Eye, especially for your graduation. Now one of the biggest bands in Australia, hockey dad has played countless gigs at the uni bar over the years. The Uni Bar is a venue very dear to many of our graduates' hearts as a home for long lunches, catching up with friends, my personal favourite, a plate of hot chips with gravy and chicken salt, trivia, comedy and of course lots of live music which we believe and so hope is coming back with some bangers in 2022. Let's go to the Uni Bar now. Guys, are you ready? Hello, yes we are. We're good to go. Ready to rock. All right, I hope you're ready out there. Yeah, I picked it from the start. I cut it early, cut the shot, I don't want to sneak by. I got a good eye well, I've been playing for a while I played my dues, hit them all I catch you at the time well, I got a good eye
pick a winner, don't you worry. Say I did on its way. You always think you're unprotected. I never call it out anyway. In the clear, no explanation. I call you, yeah. Congratulations, everybody, on a great year, and uh, well done graduating. Appreciate it. Have a good night. That was fantastic, guys. Thank you so much, and I bet it brought back a lot of memories for our graduates tonight. Now, before we head back to your faculty presentation, tonight we have another special tribute. The Wollongong Lighthouse is going to be lit in honour of you, our graduates, as a symbol of your achievement here and the impact you will have not only on our local community, but as a citizen of the world. So if you're in Wollongong, please watch as Darkness Falls, that special tribute for all of you joining tonight. We are now going to proceed with the second part of our awards presentations, including the vote of thanks from the graduate speaker. Chancellor, I present to you the doctoral graduates from the Faculty of Science, Medicine and Health, Faculty of Business and Law, Faculty of the Arts, Humanities and Social Sciences, Faculty of Engineering and Information Sciences, who, by reason of their theses and other work at the university, have met the requirements for admission to doctoral degrees. In the name of the Council and by my authority as Chancellor, I confirm your admission to the doctoral degrees for which you have qualified. Thank you so much, Chancellor. I now hand back to the faculty executives to complete the awards presentation. If you could please stand. I present to you the doctoral graduates from the Faculty of Science, Medicine and Health. For the Doctor of Philosophy in the School of Chemistry and Molecular Bioscience, for her exploration into the development of novel targeted liposomes for the treatment of metastatic breast cancer, Lisa Belfiore. For their study into validating the efficacy of selected Nigerian medicinal plants used traditionally for managing diarrhea symptoms, Christiana Joshua Dawurum. For their exploration, into the design of a new class of anti-metastatic drugs targeting cancer cell glycosylation, Christopher Michael Doby. For their exploration into three-membered bicyclic nictogen chiral pool intermediates, Jaden John Gaston. 
for their exploration into structure and function studies of the first known mammalian secreted chaperone, Sandeep Satapati. For their study into the role of pharyngeal cell surface glycans in mediating Group A Streptococcus biofilm formation, Hema Kumari Nilesh Vyas. For their study of the design, synthesis, and biological ev evaluation of novel fluorescent and radiopharmaceutical probes for imaging neurodegenerative diseases, Hendris Wongso. For the Doctor of Philosophy with Examiner's Commendation for Outstanding Thesis in the School of Chemistry and Molecular Bioscience, for their research of systematically benchmarked and optimised efficient computational vibrational spectroscopic method for condensed phase system, Venkata Sizendeep Inokulu. For the Doctor of Philosophy, School of Earth, Atmospheric and Life Sciences, for their exploration of archaeological and geomorphological sites in Myanmar and Vietnam to chronologies for human dispersal in Southeast Asia, Maria Shah Schmidt. For their examination of coarse woody debris creation and lost dynamics in response to fire and climate, Mitchell Gregg Stairs. For their study into the intra-oceanic Dras Arc of the India-Eurasia Collision in Northwest India, Jessica Margaret June Walsh. For the Doctor of Philosophy with Examiner's Commendation for Outstanding Thesis in the School of Medicine, for their study into the novel treatments for neurite deficits in schizophrenia patients, Peng Zhang. In the School of Nursing, Doctor of Philosophy for their exploration of what safety in acute mental health units means for consumers, Natalie Ann Cutler. I present to you the doctoral graduates from the Faculty of the Arts, Social Sciences and Humanities. For the Doctor of Philosophy in the School of Education, for their examination into experiences of the agency of students with disability, parents and educators in family school collaborations, Louise Ann Brown. For their exploration of how school-university partnerships can be used to enhance the teaching profession, Corinne Annalee Green. For their investigation into the design and implementation of educational multi-user virtual environments in Second Life Applied to Information Sciences, Vincent Lowe. For their exploration into teacher professional development in the implementation of innovative pedagogies in physical education, Kelly Ann Parry. For the Doctor of Philosophy with Examiner's Commendation for Outstanding Thesis in the School of Education, for their study into extending understandings of digital play by engaging children as co-designers of apps for preschoolers, Maria Clara Selena Rivera. For the Doctor of Philosophy in the School of Education, for their exploration into why students choose to study music as a subject in Australian secondary schools, Claire Louise Rogerson. For her investigation into pre-service primary teachers' perspectives and knowledge of fraction representations for teaching, Elise Jade Thutel. In the School of Geography and Sustainable Communities, for their study into Papua New Guinean migrants' food sustainability practices and what can be learned from them, Rebecca Suganya Campbell. In the School of Health and Society, for their exploration into the determinants of high sugar intake among adults in Australia, Adia Gupta. In the School of Humanities and Social Inquiry, for their study into understanding the British world, 
by identifying the formative family policy influences of the Downers' interpretations of conservatism through the prism of Britishness, Paul Raymond Brown. In the School of Psychology, for their study into how people in recovery from mental illness narratively reconstruct their sense of self and identity, Douglas John Renox Kerr. For their study into understanding, supporting and assessing young children's fine motor skill development, Karel Francois Belinda Struband. For the Doctor of Philosophy with Examiner's Commendation for Outstanding Thesis in the School of Arts, English and Media, for their study into media discourse on Afghan refugees and their forced repatriation from Pakistan, Aisha Jahangir. For the Doctor of Philosophy, Clinical Psychology in the School of Psychology, for their study into the cultural utility of mainstream addiction recovery mutual support groups for Indigenous peoples, Elizabeth Dale. For the Doctor of Philosophy, Clinical Psychology with Examiner's Commendation for Outstanding Thesis, School of Psychology, for their study into loneliness amongst people with substance use disorders, Isabella Ingram. For the Doctor of Philosophy, Clinical Psychology and the School of Psychology, for their study into the importance, influence and nature of chronic feelings of emptiness in borderline personality disorder, Caitlin Elizabeth Miller. I present to you the doctoral graduates from the Faculty of Business and Law. For the Doctor of Business Administration, School of Accounting, Economics and Finance, for their study into developing new methods for evaluating structural change in the context of primary care in Australia, Alex McLaren. For the Doctor of Philosophy in the School of Accounting, Economics and Finance, for their examination of corporate governance and its impact on the risk of involuntary delisting and earnings management, Suwan Quinn Nguyen. For her study into the importance of family control influencing corporate policies and market value, Tanapon Swan Pitak. For the Doctor of Philosophy with Examiner's Commendation for Outstanding Thesis, School of Accounting, Economics and Finance, for their exploration of trade liberalisation and performance in Vietnam's manufacturing se sector, Dung Mi Phuong Phan. For the Doctor of Philosophy, School of Business, for their exploration into children's thinking about leaders, specifically their ideas about the traits, behaviours and functions of leaders, Claudia Escobar Viga. For their study into the evaluation and role of the retail brand to a retailer's financial performance and to offer a new conceptual model of retailer brand theory for multi-category mass market retailing in the 21st century, Antonio Fowry. For their study into identifying and mapping the characteristics and attributes of a knowledge-based professional, Carol Guy McGowan. For their investigation into the influence of frontline employee empowerment on organisational performance in analytics-driven services, Saradhi Motamari. For their examination into foreign direct investments and economic growth issues in the middle-income level countries, we pull a Wikramarachi. For the Doctor of Philosophy with Examiner's Commendation for Outstanding Thesis in the School of Law, for their exploration into the power and politics surrounding Australia's refugee policy and how this impacts healthcare and human rights, Ebony Joan Birchall. I present to you the doctoral graduates from the Faculty of Engineering and Information Sciences. 
with a Doctor of Philosophy in the School of Civil, Mining and Environmental Engineering for their study into the subgrade fluidization under cyclic train loads and mitigation measures, Aruni Lakmali Abe Wikrama Bamunu Singh Kankanamangi for their investigation into the behaviour of a new type of reinforcement in concrete columns with advantageous characteristics, Habil Ahmad. For the Doctor of Philosophy with Examiner's Commendation for Outstanding Thesis in the School of Civil Mining and Environmental Engineering, for their examination into the behaviour of geopolymer concrete filled fibre reinforced polymer, FRP, tube columns internally reinforced with FRP bars. Junaid Ahmad. For their examination into the behavior of fiber reinforced geopolymer concrete circular columns reinforced with GFRP bars and GFRP helices, Sheikh Rose Ali. For the Doctor of Philosophy in the School of Civil Mining and Environmental Engineering, for their study into shockwave propagation in an advanced blast si simulator, Edward Chan Jin Gun. For their study into determining the influence of osmotic suction on the shear strength of root permeated soil, Balagala Ralalagi Pubudu Manora Jayatilaka. For their examination into mechanisms of mud pumping and the effect of the fines contact, Warren Torn Kokit Sun Torn Sun. For the Doctor of Philosophy with Examiner's Commendation for Outstanding Thesis in the School of Civil, Mining and Environmental Engineering, for their examination into biochemical clogging of permeable reactive barriers in acid sulfate soils, Kanchanamala. Medavela, Samakun Jayasekara Mudiyan Selega. For their study into novel hybrid FRP tubular standing supports with large deformation capacity for underground mines, Hong Chao Jiao. In the School of Computing and Information Technology for their study into contributions in blockchain and their practical applications, Yanan Li. For the Doctor of Philosophy in the School of Computing and Information Technology, for their study into realizing keyword searches on encrypted content in cloud and distributed systems while preserving privacy, Shui Chiao Liu. In the School of Electrical, Computer and Telecommunication, Telecommunications Engineering, for their study into the development of a novel adaptive robot-assisted rehabilitation strategy to enhance the motor recovery of, of post-stroke patients, Maryam Butt. For their study in target coverage problems in radio frequency harvesting networks, Chu Yu Lui. For the Doctor of Philosophy with Examiner's Commendation for Outstanding Thesis, School of Electrical, Computer and Telecommunications Engineering for their study into advanced control strategies for vehicle active seat suspension sy systems, Wen Xing Li. For the Doctor of Philosophy in the School of Electrical, Computer and Telecommunications Engineering for their examination into compact antenna and antenna array designs for CubeSat, Xining Liu. For the Doctor of Philosophy with Examiner's Commendation for Outstanding Thesis in the School of Electrical, Computer and Telecommunications Engineering, for their study into the design of a novel power converter topology with advanced control for grid integration of PV energy, A. M. Mahfuz R. Rahman. For the Doctor of Philosophy, School of Electrical, Computer and Telecommunications Engineering, for their study into the magnetic linked converter for the grid integration of distributed energy resources, MD Ashib Rahman. For his study of enhancing sensing capability of the optical feedback interferometry using semiconductor laser diode dynamic, Yushi Ruen. 
for their study into optimizing data rate and energy delivery in heterogeneous radio frequency harvesting networks, Muhammad Zishan Sawa. For their examination of robust channel estimation for massive MIMO systems, GRE Young. For their study into the existing and potential impacts of EVs on power systems are carried out using computer simulations and field measurements, Aryan Zahed Manesh. In the School of Mathematics and Applied Statistics for their study into modeling student transition in the Omani higher education system from admission to employment, Yasser al -Hati. In the School of Mechanical, Materials, Mechatronic and Biomedical Engineering for their study into phase transformation and microstructural development in high carbon steel following quenching and partitioning heat treatment, Zainab Baba Safari. For their study into magneto rheological smart materials for variable stiffness in robot legs to improve locomotion performance, Matthew Daniel Christie. For the Doctor of Philosophy with Examiner's Commendation for Outstanding Thesis in the School of Mechanical, Materials, Mechatronic and Biomedical Engineering, for their examination into the development of rotary variable damping and stiffness, magneto-rheological dampers and their applications on robotic arms and seat suspensions, Lei Deng. For the Doctor of Philosophy in the School of Mechanical Materials, Mechatronic and Biomedical Engineering, for their study into constrained nucleation process in FEC peritectic alloy, Dasit, Deshan, Dodangoda, Lianagi. For their study into developing the next generation environmental friendly high temperature lubricants for hot metal forming, Long Wang. For the Doctor of Philosophy with Examiner's Commendation for Outstanding Thesis in the School of Mechanical Materials, Mechatronic and Biomedical Engineering, for their research into developing high energy density lithium metal batteries, Jurjia Wang. For the Doctor of Philosophy in School of Mechanical Materials, Mechatronic and Biomedical Engineering, for their study into the realization of the true th 3D printing using wire and arc additive manufacturing, Lei Yuan for their study into graphene metal composites by using molecular dynamic sim simulations, Chue Zhang. For the School of Physics, for their exploration into the effect of nanoscale porosity on thermoelectric properties of transition metal oxides, Al Jamlat Ahmed. For their study into the performance of the new N-type epitaxial skin diode detector for in vivo skin dosimetry, Ramak Ghassan El Khadi. For the Doctor of Philosophy with Examiner's Commendation for Outstanding Thesis in the School of Physics, for their exploration of patient rotation for MRI guided gantry free radiotherapy, Jared Glenn Buckley. For the Doctor of Philosophy in the School of Physics for their research into improving performance of lead based thermoelectric materials, Andrew George Manetis. For the Doctor of Philosophy with Examiner's Commendation for Outstanding Thesis in the School of Physics, for their study of an innovative radiation detector for protection of astronauts in missions to the Moon and Mars, Stefania Peraki. Congratulations to you all. Thank you, Professor Martin. Congratulations to everyone on your achievements. It is now my pleasure to introduce Jessica Holt, who will give the vote of thanks on behalf of her fellow graduates. Chancellor, members of the university, distinguished guests, fellow graduates, family and friends. It is my honor today to deliver the vote of thanks on behalf of the science, medicine and health faculty. The COVID-19 pandemic made 2020 and 2021 a tough time for everyone and it unfortunately led to the partial closure of on-site learning at the University of Wollongong. 
However, we are all here today in recognition of our ability to adapt to the dramatic change in education delivery and celebrate our success in completing our degrees. I would like to congratulate my fellow graduates on their commitment and dedication to have made it to this point. Reflecting on my time at the University of Wollongong, I will certainly miss all the support and quality education provided by the faculty members, the welcoming nature of my fellow students, the uni life events such as clubs day and markets, and the uni bar gigs, and the vast variety of cuisines and cafes on site. On the other hand, I won't miss the local ducks frequently stealing my subways, going home and finding electrodes all over my body from the cardiac exams, and I'm sure my family will be relieved knowing they don't have to participate in any more weekly functional assessments. Looking into the future, I'm excited to commence my career as a passionate exercise physiologist and apply the strong foundation of personable and clinical skills obtained during my time at the University of Wollongong. I additionally look forward to seeing my fellow graduates enter the workforce and strive to reach their professional goals. On behalf of myself and my fellow graduates, I want to extend my thanks to the university, teachers, staff and students who made our academic experience nothing short of extraordinary. I would like to extend our thanks to all the parents, partners, family and friends who provided an overwhelming amount of support and encouragement during these unprecedented circumstances. Thank you to Dr Fiona Wood for the future wishes and for all your support and assistance over the past two years. Congratulations to everyone graduating today. You should all be so proud of yourself and I wish you all nothing but the best in your academic careers. Thank you, Jessica. It's wonderful to hear from one of our graduates who I'm sure will go on to achieve amazing things. I would just like to take the opportunity to congratulate all the graduates from Science, Medicine and Health and a particular shout out for our graduates from the School of Nursing who have done such a wonderful job in helping in the current pandemic. I wish you all the very best in your future career. Jessica Holt, thank you so much. Congratulations and thank you for your vote of thanks. To Senior Professor McLaughlin and also uh, Professor Martin, thank you so much for today. And thanks also to the commitment of our highly skilled academic staff who have helped guide our graduates UOW journey. Congratulations to all of you on your remarkable achievements. I do wish you all the very best for your futures and I'd love to see you at a UOW alumni event in the near future. On behalf of everyone at UOW, thank you so much for taking the time to join us and enjoy the rest of your evening. I hope you celebrate. See you soon. <laughs>